what we're up against, California. You can't make this stuff up. Doesn't believe in an assault weapons ban. Doesn't even believe tobacco should be regulated. You got a debate about tobacco, you can't, I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling you it's straight. Got into debate about a tobacco tax and conceded the fact that maybe tobacco does take lives, but he said, you know what, that's probably a good thing because it will reduce health care costs for all those who die. Someone, someone that wants to privatize Social Security, privatize Medicare, doesn't believe in Obamacare, doesn't support the rights of folks against pre-existing discrimination, pre-existing conditions, doesn't believe fundamentally in a living wage, let alone a minimum wage. The fight for 15, he doesn't even believe in 15 cents, wants to reject the minimum wage, said that food stamps are a giveaway as he wants to eliminate the corporate tax. That's what we're up against. What kind of judges would Larry Elder appoint as governor of California? Who would he have appointed 10 months ago to replace Kamala Harris when she became vice president? What would that have done in Washington, D.C. today? Would there have been that last stimulus? Would there be Majority Leader Chuck Schumer? Think of the consequences. California, that's what's at stake on September 14th, just a matter of days. You have the opportunity to determine the fate and future of this state, and I would argue impact the fate and future of the United States of America. This is a consequential election. And I know, I know part of Lee said it. We all told you, well, this is the most important election 2020, right? It was getting rid of Trump, and that was absolutely true, and you did that by getting rid of Donald Trump in November 2020. But Trumpism still Trumpism's not dead. It's alive in the big lie, the insurrection. That's the reality. And this is our moment to step up. And